Hey folks, Jerome Forcewood here. It is 12.46 p.m. on July 27, 2024 in Westside, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is 22 degrees outside on a cloudy afternoon in the city. In this video, I walk for 1.4 kilometers starting in Kitsilano by the bus stop at West Broadway and Vine. Then still north on Vine, east on West 4th, ending my trek in Fairview by the bus stop at West 4th and Burrard. To support the channel, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. For updates, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at jforestwit. And if you enjoy this video, smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. What's up, Amazon? <laughs> Good question. Hey folks, Jerome Forsford here. Just walking along Vine Street in Kitsilano. Heading over from West Broadway to West 4th Ave. It's approximately five blocks, five blocks up here. And it's being uh, West 8th Ave right ahead of us here. This area right here, as you can see, is predominantly dominated as we cross West 8th Ave. We have the single family dwelling homes and rather large ones. There's a few condo buildings that have moved into the area as well. So you'll see a few of those too, but low level condo buildings. So anywhere from three to six stories tall and predominantly more around the three and four story size buildings. Properties go over here. Properties over here cost around $2 million and plus. <laughs> so the single family dwelling home that would cost, you know, maybe $200,000 in the United States. In some areas, $250,000 over here, $2 million. Here's some of the townhouse condos that we're passing right now. Two million dollars. A lot of the people that moved into the area, their houses weren't worth that. <laughs> now they're finding themselves house rich. <laughs> or as we like to say, house poor. So they're rich with their property, but uh, they're just regular human beings. There is some affluence that does live in this area as well, actually a lot, but uh, not everyone here, of course, bought and this is a highly sought after area. At one point in time, this was not a desired area. It was way far away from the downtown Vancouver core. And at one point in time, its own separate city called Point Grey. And then of course, Point Grey, East Vancouver, South Vancouver, and Vancouver proper all amalgamated together. And might be getting some of those names off just a bit. And now you have what we have, which is Vancouver. Along this part now, we'll start to transition away from more of those single family dwelling homes, quite large ones, and move into more of those condominium units. There are a few rental units in here as well but predominantly condominiums. Here's one of our rentals right here, Vine Street Apartments. And there's another one of those giant single family dwelling homes. Some of these homes are actually broken up into different apartments too, especially since we live so close to the UBC area. A lot of students will choose to settle in and around these areas. Like basement, basement suites and extra room suites and stuff like that. 
or suites built in the backyard, so <laughs> back alley suites. A whole bunch of those. You can build up to eight of those on your property now. You can even pull down your house and just build eight properties on one property, or eight suites on one property, with kitchen, bathrooms, and the whole nine yards. And of course, some people are actually taking advantage of that. Hasn't caught on in big waves yet, but I'm sure it will at some point in time. <laughs> and over here, we're really close to West 4th Ave. This being West 5th Ave. You can see here that this is just predominantly rental and older condominium units. Some so old they got a uh, stained glass on them. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful stained glass. So we'll continue on Vine Street here, up ahead, this West 4th Ave. Then we'll cross West 4th Ave and head down the other side of West 4th Ave. We are in the area. There is a local grocery store over here and this place right here. And just down the street, there's also a couple blocks there over on the West Point Gray side. There's another place. Jericho Plaza. That's fairly busy too, which would be the no frills. <laughs> and this is the intersection of Vine Street and West Fourth Ave. Let's cross the street here. Here we go. This is a busy retail area most weekends. Surprisingly. Very popular for brunch as well. Places like Jam Cafe. Almost always, almost always, not every single time, but almost always have a lineup outside of it. <laughs> Some days when you get inclement weather, of course, that might change, but <laughs> generally. Au comptoir, you can see is a fairly busy across the street there and that's where you can get some brunch as well and early lunch. And we'll keep walking here and this is West 4th Ave so we're heading east on West 4th Ave over here as well because this area is a bit away from the downtown square. This is where you also find a lot of different shops that you would find in the hotels or not in the hotels in the <laughs> in the malls on over here just passing adidas kitsilano right here so you can see and again those typical stores that you would see in malls in canada and they're out here on the city streets and why are they out here on the city streets well, this is a thriving retail area as well as you, we don't need as many malls here in Vancouver. In fact, besides a few of the larger malls set up mainly predominantly by Cadillac Fairview, which is a country that runs malls across Canada. Okay. <laughs> besides large malls like... Uh, <laughs> see a Pacific Center, Metropolis at Metro Town, or... Uh, Park Royale. This is where you're going to have your uh, your people. They're going to be walking on the outside, even in the wintertime. Weather's well, nice and mild here in uh, Vancouver. Here's a local Arc Arcteric store. Right. I can see it just like if you were to walk into a mall store. Very similar experience. Just out here on the retail front. Feels a lot like. Uh, Feels a lot like West, uh, <laughs> Queen West back in Toronto. <laughs> That's the intersection of U Street and West 4th Ave. Now 
And if you were to head north on U Street that way, you end up over at Kitsilano Beach. There's a few different restaurants on the way too, including Lucky Tacos. And the local. Down at Kitts Beach. And as well as, an, uh, I believe, an oyster bar is over on the way as well. Let's keep walking here. <laughs> this is a Mies Moose right here. Again, you can see how these different stores that you would see in a mall, okay, are out here on the retail street. And on this street, you got everything, men's clothes, women's clothes, different restaurants, all that stuff. And there's the Jam Cafe worker right there, <laughs> working the line right now, getting people's orders. Bring them in if they got reservations. <laughs> This is a, a spot to be seen eating at. <laughs> a lot of people really enjoy the food here. It does look good. It does look very, very good. <laughs> you can find other jam cafes across the metro Vancouver area. The one here at, on West 4th Ave is the one that regularly has that brunch line here on the weekends. <laughs> it's almost a status symbol. Hey, did you do brunch? Yeah, I was over at Jam <laughs> having brunch. Oh, you were at Jam? Oh, okay. <laughs> that type of thing. People like to be able to say that. Not everyone, but some people like the status. <laughs> Looks like here's some students right here. Looks like they're carrying some a birthday party attire. Look at all these helmets. These people are definitely part of the. Oh, uh, they're riding the Yes Cycle Adventures over on Denman Street rental bikes. These guys too. You can see. Over here, this is Sophie's Cosmic Kitchen. Sophie's another place that will have a lineup. Got it. It looks like, uh, yeah, the lineup's just at the door right now. So that'll pick up in a couple minutes as more people want to come in for their uh, brunch, especially after yesterday night's party. Yesterday night was the Honda Celebration of Lights. And a lot of people in Vancouver, half a million people, and people from the metro Vancouver area were down at English Bay Beach, plus anyone else along any real estate that you could see from the Vancouver Harbor. Or not from the Vancouver Harbor, from English Bay, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes just say one thing and another word comes out. <laughs> or you think something and another word comes out. English Bay, uh, people were watching all around English Bay, all the way from the Spanish banks, all the way to Kitts Beach and Vanier Park, and then all the way over into Stanley Park as well, past English Bay Beach, over to Second Beach, and that type of area, and along the seawall path. So, big fireworks show, and yeah, drone show too. I couldn't film the drone show from the point of view we were at, but we were at a great point of view for the fireworks. So if you wanna see what the fireworks look like, you can go to the back catalog and check that out. Just one caveat, there was half a million people there, and we have a city of 675,000 here in Vancouver. Two million across the metro Vancouver area. <laughs> Maybe 2.5 million now. <laughs> Not quite sure. <laughs> Stats still have to come in for that. But uh, that means we don't have the cell phone towers that you'd see in other areas like Toronto, Montreal, Calgary, where uh, you would have more stable streams in those big larger events. So sometimes there was a bit of buffering. That's yeah, something uh, I can improve on in the future, but uh, it'll just take a little bit of knowledge and know-how. So we got something uh, to <laughs> work on. <laughs> it all comes also with money. <laughs> I should build the channel. <laughs> have a bit more money to do with and stuff like that. 
And of course, if you want to support the channel, you can hit the heart symbol with a dollar sign in there or whatever monetary symbol you have for your country, and then you can send me a super thanks. That's one way you can support the channel. The other way you can support the channel is you can hit that, uh, you can send me direct donations to my email address through Interact eTransfer. You know, my email address is jforestwood at gmail.com. That's another way you can support the channel. But most importantly, hit that like button. And I'll help shoot, shoot the video out to more people. <laughs> YouTube really likes it when people hit that like button. <laughs> Like competition. Yeah. Oh, there goes Busters towing a car. <laughs> like I said before, I do not park without paying for your parking. You can see the pay meters right here. Busters <laughs> will come around. I think it's Dave's towing is the other one. Might be getting that name wrong. You can fact check that on Google Maps. Uh, Days is the other one, I believe. There's two main ones, Busters and Days. And they tow those cars that are illegally parked all over the city. Let's keep walking here. Just over at Cypress Street. And I'll continue heading in this direction. There's been a lot of special events on lately, so I haven't been able to get back to the old neighborhoods. Check that out. And I'll also get back to uh, Fraser on Sunset neighborhood. I'll also get down to Marple at some point in time. Check out those neighborhoods. Definitely wanted to come to this one. First, I'm going to show you this. I'm just showing love to the west side. <laughs> Kitsilano is a can be the vibe. <laughs> yeah, it's passing him. Roamers over here. They'll be busy in a little bit, not quite yet. On a day like today, okay, people are just starting to wake up, go on out, maybe go to the market, pick up a little bit of food. Some food to cook later, and then they'll head on out to get their lunch if they've already had breakfast. <laughs> I mean, I just run down the street <laughs> and over to the UBC 24-hour McDonald's get my breakfast on the weekend. Love their breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> Always people waiting outside of Ramen Dambo. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Might be one or two people at one point in time and then a whole big long line at another point in time. It's just fascinating to see. Section of Burrard and the West Fourth Ave. And we'll cross the street here when the light changes. There it is, there's our turn. Good to be careful at larger intersections like this with multiple lanes. Vancouver doesn't have the best record of 
and drivers. That doesn't mean all drivers are bad, but we do have uh, several people that have really sloppy driving skills like this. <laughs> Pulling over the line. <laughs> You're supposed to wait. <laughs> Of course, there's Chronic Inc. across the street and Mi Casa right above it. In a Mexican place. It means my house. And I'm just going to chill out over here at the bus stop. So, thanks for coming along. And just remember to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later, okay? <laughs> Have a good day.